Hey, how's it going, uh, YouTube? Uh, this is Evil Clown, Evil Clown Productions. I did a little test video about a week or so ago uh, using my new flip camera, HD flip camera. And uh, I mentioned that I wanted to start doing some vlogs. And this first vlog is actually a little behind because uh, I've kind of had a few epiphanies since uh, starting my new path of spirituality. Uh, with uh, my conversion to Judaism and so this video I'm mostly just going to talk about uh, kind of the way I felt before I thought I definitely needed to find some kind of spirituality for myself because I had kind of a miserable type of existence uh, I thought a lot about suicide like on a daily basis, like multiple times a day. Um, I guess the first place to probably start, I, since this is going to go into my new spirituality, newfound spirituality, I guess I should start kind of at the beginning with my spirituality. When I was born, I was born Catholic, and I was uh, christened, as a, as a child into the Catholic faith and growing up my parents weren't when we were when I was little my brother and I would go we went to Sunday school when we were real little but it seemed like as we got older I remember my dad was a truck driver when I was little and he was away a lot so my mom was always always seemed a little more religious than my father did but now that I'm older, I'm you know learning basically that my, my father decided that it was just his his faith was his faith and nobody else's business. And don't preach to him. Your personal relationship was God's. Your personal relationship with God and his was his. So religion wasn't a very big thing in our household, growing up. And when I was an early teenager, I was baptized into. I can't even remember the faith now. I think it was Baptist. The Baptist Church. I remember because a buddy of mine in high school convinced me that there was a way to go. It was going to get me chicks. And they took me to his church one time. They had this big whole production with a band. And they, they took all these mainstream songs and put, you know, religious tones to them. The one song I remember was She Works Hard for Her Money. Uh, and the the part about treating her right was like the devil the devil never treats her right. You know, it was, it was like it was like a big song and dance pony show. And I felt a little bit for it, but then I just kind of nothing was really there for me. And then one thing that kind of put a, a itching to it as well is is some of my buddies who got me into it. His sister decided to preach to my father one time, and that was that. Was that. <laughs> so I didn't re really do a whole lot more with religion for a while. And then later on, uh, during my first marriage, I started getting back into martial arts because I was no longer an athlete. I decided to wait a year to go to college. Didn't finally go back till a couple years ago. But that's all another video. <laughs> So I was trying to stay athletic, and I knew martial arts was a good way to do that. And all the guys that I, I enjoyed following, Steven Seagal, Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, Jet Li, they had one thing in common. They were all Buddhists. So I wanted to know what this Buddhism thing was, and why a lot of martial artists were Buddhists. So I went to a public library and got a book called The Teachings of Buddha. I read through it, and a lot of it made sense to me. You know, it was about spirituality and, and going on a path to spiritual enlightenment, to be spiritually enlightened with the planet. I did that for a really long time. Probably about, I would say, almost a good 20 years. But, uh, well, not really 20, because I would say probably 15, because the last five, I've just really 
been up and down all over the place and just not knowing what the hell and not really practicing Buddhism too well. I was angry all the time. I used to drink a lot. And then I had a really kind of bad second marriage that finally ended. And, uh, well, while going through the divorce here and everything, I decided to refresh my, hope, my life. I had rekindled my relationship through Facebook. So I moved from Florida to Kansas to be closer to her, and that kind of went to hell. And that made it even worse of a downward spiral for myself. Because now not only am I going to go through a divorce, and I ain't got nobody in the middle of fuck nowhere. <clears throat> so, I just, and that's when, that's where the suicide came in really bad that I just, I didn't want to drink myself to death. I just wanted to end it. I just wanted it to be over. I don't know how. I just, I just knew I was ready to see what the other side was. Even if the other side was hell, I didn't care. I just didn't want this thing here no more. So what I decided to do was things had finally gotten better with the girlfriend and her Progressive, but progressive very slow, not as fast as I would like it to be. I mean, it's way slower than it should be, considering where we're at and how long we've been together and how long we've known each other, even though there was a little gap in there, a period of time where we didn't know each other, but that, like, that's a whole other story. And this video is not about that. Well, I had started, uh, I stayed with the same job, but I started a new post because I do security, and I... My new boss was Jewish, and we've only been doing, we've only been at this new post for maybe three months. Well, him and I didn't even talk about religion for the first month that, in fact, we didn't really start talking about religion until I started working the day shift with him, because it was just, it was just too busy for him to do it by himself and do all the administrative stuff for the post. So, and I didn't even really ask him about religion. He just kind of dropped some knowledge on me. And he was like, you know, I'm not, pre you know, he would, you know, I'm not preaching to you. Just, this is things I know and I like other people to know that. And then he was like me. He was always on a quest. He's always on a quest for knowledge, to learn things and want to know stuff. And so I picked his brain for a while, you know, about, about things. And he would just, out of nowhere, tell me things that he knew. You know, about the, about the Bible and about, religion in general, and about the history of the world. So I, be, I began asking him about the, the Jewish faith and what it all, you know, kind of was about. You know, he told me some basics, and, you know, I asked if he went to a synagogue, and he did. So I asked him if it was okay if I came one time, so he, you know, said, yeah, you can be my special guest. I, you know, I, my special, I was his special guest at his synagogue on a Saturday, and before actually going for my first one, he gave me a Bible. My first Bible I've ever actually owned myself for my whole life. Well, I wish I had it show it to you. It's just, it's a, it's just it's the scriptures on the front. And it's basically a, a Hebrew Bible where the names of God and Jesus aren't translated like they are in the standard Bible or the King James version of the Bible. Because you know, God is not God. He's Yahuwah. Or he, uh, also known as Yahweh. The translation is a little kind of vague because of the old original Hebrew that the world started out speaking is kind of gone. You know, it's lost over the time. It just kind of got lost. But, and Jesus is not Jesus. It's, I always screw this one up. <laughs> Yahshua or Yahushua. A lot of people just say Yahshua because it's easier. But that's what their Hebrew names are. Not God, not Jesus. You don't translate someone's name. What your name is here is just all over the world. Whether you're dead or alive, this is your name. That Your name is your name. But when I went, uh, so I started reading through it and noticing, you know, that they had Jesus' name, God's name in their, in their original Hebrew, in the original Hebrew scribble. Or not, well, it's not scribble, but... It looks like scribble if you don't know how to read it, <laughs> which I still don't. You know, uh, Hebrew, I'm starting to learn a little bit and catch on a little bit. But and what I like about the Jewish faith is 
it's allowed me to feel more whole because it's based a lot on the Old Testament predominantly. And with rab you know, rabbis versus priests, a lot of my life, I never really met a whole lot of rabbis, a hand, you know, a couple maybe. But when I talk, when I've talked with priests and I've talked with rabbis, one thing I know the difference between them is, is a majority of priests and like ministers, you know, you sit in church and they spoon feed you, they spoon feed you whatever the, whatever it is they want to teach you from the Bible, and it's them teaching you. They're not supposed to teach you. You're supposed to learn yourself from the Bible through the Holy Spirit. And with with you know rabbis, they're like, hey, they just they just drop some knowledge on you and you take what you want from it, and they tell you that just you take what you feel you need to take from this and how it helps you or needs to help you. So it, it's felt really good in my life to finally have like something more to grasp onto spirituality wise. And it's made me feel better about myself and it's made me a better person. So I've wanted to kind of keep a vlog of how it's going, you know, on occasion and show the growing of my beard because that's one thing in, in the Jewish faith is you're not supposed to shave. And the reasons why I might get into later, like I've already gone on a little longer than I wanted to, but I just want to kind of do a vlog maybe every couple of days or once a week, just kind of showing my path maybe or dropping some of the knowledge I learn as I go along. Converting from, you know, starting out being a Christian and being a Baptist and then being a Buddhist and then now I now claim the Jewish faith. And even though I know not a lot of people probably watch this, it'll be mostly just my close friends, but I feel like I need to document this in some way because I've always wanted to entertain people and, and do movies and do, I do kind of do some music because you'll see on my channel I have some techno music I do and stuff. And, and I'll uh, expect to see some videos with me playing this as I get better. Right now I'm still just practicing and doing scales and stuff because I haven't played in probably about 10 years. I used to be in a band with my brother. But drugs kind of got in the way of that. And then pawn shops and, you know, <laughs> just life kind of happened. So, all right, well, I'm going to cut this now because I know it's, I don't know how long it is, but I know it's been way too long. But this is just my beginning video, you know, letting people know that I started out, you know, religion can help you. Doesn't really matter. I don't think it really specifically matters about religion as long as you have a general good idea and it makes you feel good and it makes you a good and better person. That's what this is about. So, catch you later, YouTube. Good luck and may Yahweh bless you. Shalom.